All right, Sierra, this person wants to know the super easy question, which is how do you break up? (laughs) (laughs) Um, Yeah, definitely totally easy. Oh, so easy. The easiest thing. Obviously, if it was an easy question, we wouldn't have a podcast called Just Break Up where people (laughs) ask for advice on how to break up. Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, so breaking up is hard. um, And I think... I think the underlying reason why it's hard that people don't often like connect with is the fact that, you know, this is somebody that you hopefully felt fond feelings for at one yeah, point. You would think that you <laughs> probably you might like still, them. <laughs> and you might still have fond feelings for them. And nobody wants to be the bad guy and nobody wants to hurt feelings, mm-hmm. you know, and breaking up is often directly at odds with those desires. Right. right? Yep. But the kicker is sometimes our authentic desires are, also at odds with someone else's desires, which is a guaranteed equation for hurt feelings. Mm -hmm. And I think the goal in breaking up is often like, oh, but I don't want to hurt their feelings. Well, that's often not a reality. And I'm not talking about like being intentionally mean. I'm just saying we have to move forward in breakups with honesty and clarity and compassion, not just niceness. Right. And I think that's the difference between like niceness and kindness, right? Like niceness means I don't want to hurt your feelings. Kindness means... I don't want to string you along in a relationship that I don't want to be in, right? Say it again. And so I think that like being really intentional about clarity, about making sure that you are telling the person what you are authentically feeling, being really clear that you don't want to be in relationship with them is actually kinder than trying to spare their feelings. Because like we've all been in those relationships or those breakups where like six months down the line, you're you're still like, what what is happening? And I have totally been the person who was like... (laughs) No, we're, I mean, like, I love you. Right? I just, like, need time. Ooh, I want to be with you, but I don't want to be with you. Yeah. Exactly. So, like, yes. let's not do that. Sorry, early 2000s partners. Right? And the other thing that I want to say, too, is that, like, we have this idea that there's, like, a right or wrong way to break up. Like, you know, right. you have to do it in person and you have to do it in this way. But we also want to take into account, like, our physical and emotional safety, too. Right. right? Like, if you're not feeling safe with your partner and you're not feeling safe in this breakup, right. it's okay to do what you need to do in right. order to exit from that relationship in a way that makes your safety the priority. Right. We're not talking about being cruel. We're not talking about, um, you know, it's not even about like coldness. It's about humanity. Mm-hmm. Right. And sometimes humanity looks like taking care of yourself in a clear and compassionate way. Right. Right. 